Hi, boys and girls. Um, this is um, Mrs. DeSantis, and I'm going to show you here how to get logged on to your Chromebook from your home network. It's a little different than what you're used to at school. So for starters, you need to get logged on to your home network. So ask your mom and dad, you know, to help you get onto the network. You'll need your network password. And once you're connected to your network, it looks just like you're used to seeing at school. It's asking you for your ID number, which is the first half of your email address. If you don't know your ID number, you can email your teacher to, or me to get that information. And then you know the domain is already there for you. And that's the at student.cms.k12.nc.us. So that's already there. So just go ahead and press enter. And then it asks for your password. And this should most likely be your birthday password. There's a couple of fifth graders who might have changed it back to your personal password. But for most of you, it's your birthday password. So click next and it's gonna log you on just like you're used to seeing at school. But you'll notice that when it first opens up, there's an important message and it gives you some directions and two more steps that you're gonna need to do to connect to our CMS secure network. And you really won't be able to use your Chromebook until you do these two steps. So you don't do anything on this page, even though it looks like you're supposed to fill in some blanks there. What you need to do is open a new tab. And when you try to go to a website, let's say ABC uh, or any website, it's gonna give you this, this extra sign-in box, okay? So this is asking again for your email address, but it's slightly different. So you'll still type your ID number But then when you do the domain, you're gonna do at, you're gonna leave off the word student and just type cms.k12.nc.us. All right, so that's your ID number at cms.k12.nc.us. Then click sign in. And then you'll notice one more place where you have to put that exact same thing. So your ID number, And then the same thing, at cms.k12.nc.us. For this password, for everybody, you're going to use your birthday password. Even if you use something different for your Google password, this one must be your birthday password. Then click sign in. And now you're good to go. You'll be on and everything. So um, when the little save box pops up, to save that information, you wanna click save. That way you won't have to type that in the next time, it'll be there for you. All right, and so now you're ready to start using your device. Don't forget about our CMS bookmark folder right up here. If you're trying to get um, into anything in the NC Ed Cloud, I suggest starting from the student portal. And you can click any of those, sorry about the flickering screen, that's annoying. You can click down here, it looks like they're working on a remote learning portal coming soon. That's new, but you can click on any of these NC Ed Cloud buttons and then get to your NC Ed Cloud login screen there. And of course that is gonna be your um, username is your ID number again. And then um, your NC Ed Cloud password, okay? So um, feel free to email me guys if you have any other questions. My email, um, Karen DeSantis, is on the Polar Ridge homepage in the directory. And uh, good luck, and we'll be in touch. Thanks.